Wow, did you just do your hair for this? Don't freak out. You look really, the hair, the, it looks, hair looks good. Hair, good, hey. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ian, I drew you. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Who Knows Ian Best. No. Hello, everyone. Welcome to What Would Jesus Do? Oh, my God. Hello, everybody. Welcome to What Would Ian, Ian Do? do. Y'all, uh, today I have uh, set a series of questions that uh, I know the answer to because they're questions about me. It is your job to guess what would Ian do? Can I out answer your answer? Yeah. You can try. But before we get into this, why don't you guys like and subscribe to this channel? Like, uh, hit, uh, why don't you like the channel and subscribe to this video? <laughs> It's funny because it's the opposite. Okay, here's the question. What animal do I think is the silliest? <laughs> what is the silliest? You guys all thought this was gonna be like, oh, what's my favorite airplane disaster? <laughs> all right, you have an answer? Shane, would you like to show me your answer? Silliest animal, people. <laughs> people are pretty silly. That's right. All right, ready for mine? Good luck. Yes. The silliest animal? Obviously goose. You silly goose. Aww. Don't act like that was not your answer. I feel like that was my answer in like 2006. Are you? Okay. I put capybara. Ooh. They're like big hamsters. They're like giant hamsters. Well guys, I regret to inform you Isn't there that capybara was the answer. What? Yeah. Wait, seriously? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I know it's gotta be like one of those like Australian animals that we like we think about a lot. Yeah. Like it's it's just a giant. It's the most. It's the largest rodent on Earth. It's like this. So big. that was your planned answer to that. Yes, Shane. This is very silly. So I'll give you one point. Okay. I'm not the silliest ant silly goose. Come on. You wish you thought of that answer. I'm so sorry, Olivia. You I'm gonna have to give you zero points. Are you serious? Oh. Like I said, if this was 2006, I would have thought yeah, that was so was funny because like I feel like the word the phrase silly goose. Yeah was a very funny thing to say back yeah. then. But now, it's like saying, oh, you want to come over and chillax? Yeah, it's like saying, waza! Like, you know, yeah. like, <laughs> and Courtney, you get 10 points. Yay! Oh, okay. oh my yeah, gosh. It's a little I excessive, like, but. Why can't you ask some like, like real questions? Like, what's my address? Olivia, I've what's asked. What's my, my cell social phone security number? number? Olivia, I've asked one question so far. I, I know. I agree with Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> I know where you live. I know where you live. Well, here's a real question. What would I order from Domino's Pizza? And I'm gonna need the exact, gonna need the exact order. I oh, literally yeah. don't know you at all. <laughs> you don't even order Domino's. I'll order, say, let's say this. I'll, I'll give three points to every correct item that you've written down. But that doesn't mean you can write 20 items in the hopes that you get one. Shane, what'd you got? Um, I said a large pepperoni, medium order of, of buffalo wings, garlic bread, large Sprite. I mean, that's a great order. I would definitely eat that. It is not my order of choice. Uh, Olivia. A real uh, large meat lover supreme with mushroom, peppers, and a liter. Rock? Liter of rock? A liter uh, of rock? No, I think, I think that's uh, Coke. A liter of Coke? Uh, it's Coke without the E, so you can pronounce that however you so choose. <laughs> <She's laughing. laughs> Courtney, right, Courtney, let's see this. Courtney, what do you have? Let's see this answer. What you got? Well, it's funny you mentioned it. Um, I put chicken parm with red onions and barbecue sauce. Ah, uh, very off. However, you did get chicken. So my Domino's order, and this isn't an order that I make anywhere else. Regular crust, white sauce, yeah. chicken, Bacon. Oh, yeah. right, it was yeah. bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew it was like, cause the white yeah. sauce is parm, right? Parmesan sauce or whatever? I don't, it's like a ranch? Is it not a no. ranch? It's white. You know, I'll give Courtney a point for getting chicken in there. Yeah. She got chicken in there. What about? Oh, you had chicken too. No. No? Okay, well then you get nothing. She had cock. Oh, here's a good one. What terrifying thought keeps me awake at night? <laughs> Dude, are you serious? He is so strange. I don't know. <laughs> like he's stranger than me. It's, gonna, it's a weird one. I bet. I bet it's like some weird fact. Like what? Like the fact that there are like more 
car accidents per month than <laughs> something else. Like, that more people are living than dying. Yeah. <laughs> Olivia, we'll start with you. What terrifying thought keeps me awake at night, Olivia? That you will have three kids. Hmm. Um, I'm probably not gonna have any kids. If that, I can manage it. I know, that's why it's terrifying. She brings up a good, she brings up a good point. Yeah, what if you find out that there's like three children some out there, somewhere out there that are yours? Yeah. <laughs> Courtney, what, 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 did, what did you have to say? That the world is ending like, right now. Oh. That's not true. I don't think he would. The world, be that look, stressed. the world won't end. Our. There's no The back. human's time on the world may come to an end, but the world won't end. Yeah, the world's gonna be fine. It'll be just fine without us. And in fact, it'll probably be better. That's an Ian fact. Shane, what do you have? Ian, I think there is one thought that keeps you up at night. <laughs> I think there's one thought that keeps you up at night. Okay. It keeps going over and over and over in your head and you, you just can't shut your eyes because you keep thinking out loud, I hope my dick don't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if it did? What would you do? Especially it's night, you're trying to sleep, like yeah. it falls off now, you gotta go to, you gotta it pick it up. It just kinda like rolls to the side. Just kinda like, boop, just falls off. Yeah. <laughs> What's your answer? Well, I have to say, I have to first say, um, well, I guess I just could just say it, but yeah, yours is wrong. Oh. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Was mine um, right? No, no. The most terrifying thing that keeps me up at night is that there are 110 million uh, active landmines planted around the world. Huh. Wow. 110 million. I knew it. Wait, what? I knew it was going to be something like that. Wait, are you fact. serious? Landmines. Wait, yeah. wow. there's a lot of There's a lot of places around the world where there are still landmines and you just got it. But they're marked off. A lot of them are like marked off like, hey, don't go to this area. Wait, what? How come they don't just set them off? Like throw rocks at them. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so people are just dying left and right from these left landmines? Uh, I mean, it's a very real threat. There's, I think, 20 million alone in Egypt. And landmines are just one part of it. There's also unexploded ordnance left over from the Vietnam War. So there's still cluster munitions that are just sitting out there, uh, literally in the Vietnam countryside in Cambodia and Laos, and um, they still blow up. And this is why I don't really know you, Ian. And this is why you gotta stop watching documentaries, man. You watch too many, I think. It's actually Tropic Thunder that, <laughs> that I, I, yeah, that you I was like, yeah. Tropic Thunder. You guys ready for the next one? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, zero points for you all. Zero points. If I had to pick a favorite old school YouTube video, what would it be? A favorite old school YouTube video? Mm -hmm. And this one I'll award partial points. If, if, you, if, if this video also amuses me, I'll give you points. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the video that I like. Shame. <laughs> No shame. No. I'm gonna have to uh, no shame. give another answer no. after this one. Oh no! Stop! Stop, Shane. Bro. I'm gonna have to give us. Bro. <laughs> Courtney, let's go with you. Okay, I put um, baby panda sneeze. To remember the baby oh. panda? Remember when she goes, Cha! and the mom's yeah. like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> It's so funny. <laughs> okay, Baby Panda Squeeze is a terrific old school YouTube video. I award you seven points. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah. Thank you! Mm -hmm. Shane. <laughs> what is that? You don't want to know. You don't want to know. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Like someone in a jar? Like, no, what is it's it? worse. Well, he, okay, hold on. I mean. Okay. He sits on the jar and it goes in. Oh, that's that's just the beginning. That's where it begins. That's just a new hope. Wait, can you? <laughs> the Empire still has a strong face. <laughs> but I'm gonna say Charlie the Unicorn. That was a pretty good old video. Yeah. I'll give that five points. Hey, wow. Yeah. Almost as good as this. No. <laughs> I wrote Chocolate Rain. Oh, we got we got to give love to Chocolate Rain. We we didn't give him the respect that he that he deserved. Uh, and for that, I'll give that five points. Oh. Oh yeah, what was your actual, oh. what was your actual oh, favorite? My classic? favorite old school YouTube video is Go Blah. Go Blah! It's, oh, it's, the girl, yeah. it's the girl that's holding on to the dog by the leash and she throws <laughs> the ball and then the dog takes off and goes Bleh! and then oh, she like, right. she hits the ground. So she literally, it's titled Go Blah and she goes Go! Um, hey everyone, what item would I want with me if I were trapped on a desert island? <coughs> All right, we ready? Shane, you take us off. 
Yeah, I think if you were stuck on a deserted island, the item you would bring is a DVD box set of Lost. Mm. Um, you wouldn't have any means of watching it, but nobody, I think, has ever watched a DVD box set of Lost. True. So uh, it would serve its intended purpose, which would be just, you know, it's there. Olivia, what did you put? I wrote a little car. A little car. A little car. To just drive around on the island. Yeah. Courtney? I put my favorite coffee. Oh. So brave. Check it out, myfavoritecoffee.com. Oh, oh, oh. Still, still there. Still, still, <laughs> still making coffee. Still making coffee. Well, guys, my answer um, is very close to all of yours. Uh, actually, Olivia, yours is the closest because my answer is a helicopter. Ah. That's the item I would bring. So you would, so that you could leave. Yeah. Uh, so, so Shane, I'll give you two points for originality. Thanks. Olivia, you were the closest with a, uh, a mechanical vehicle. Yeah. vehicle. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll give you, I'll give you five points. Nice. And uh, Courtney, I mean, come on, I gotta love the plug. Seven points from you. What? Yeah. what? I'm sorry, I, th I believe you deserve more points that time. I, I do too, but Ian's not a fair person. Okay, you're right. Uh, Olivia, you get all seven points of Courtney's. She's, oh, she's... I'm ungrateful. Here's one that, that I'm sure you can all relate to. So you, th this one comes from personal experience, I'm sure. Okay. A brand emailed me hoping I'd do some paid promo for their product on Instagram. How would I respond? And this is my, my personal, for my personal Instagram. Not for Smosh, for my personal Instagram. Courtney, let's start off with you. I said you would simply not respond. Mmm. Uh, I said you wouldn't, and that's all encompassing. Not just wouldn't respond, I don't think you'd even see it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Olivia? I wrote how much, nah. Okay. <laughs> you guys are very close. The The correct answer is I open it up, then mark it as unread, and then forget about it. So you guys are all kind of there. I'm gonna give you all six points. Wow. All right, you ready for the next one? Hell yeah. What's my favorite ice cream flavor? She's a rocky road. <laughs> Bitch. I feel so, I feel like such a bad friend. Am I a bad friend? No. I don't even know your favorite ice cream flavor. That sucks. That does suck. That really sucks for you. Shane, what you got? I I truly don't know. Mm. Um, I don't think I've ever seen you eat ice cream. I don't think I've ever heard you talk about ice cream. I I was gonna guess something weird like pistachio. Which is actually, you know what? That's I do think pistachio ice cream is actually good. Oh yeah. Like it's a good flavor. Oh yeah. But I feel like you'd be like something like that. It is very good. Courtney? I put like chocolate fudge. Like chocolate fudge, oh, yeah. <laughs> Olivia? Um, coffee? Thai tea? Rocky Road. <laughs> you can't answer three things. Well, I did! <laughs> what you gonna do about it, huh? Well, guys, the answer is, I like all of those. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. They're great. You guys all get three points. Um, all right. What drink makes me the happiest? What drink? Oh, Courtney. Courtney's right to it. Olivia, what do you got? Tears. Oh. oh. Oh, savory. Oh, I don't cry. Shane? My favorite Japanese whiskey. Hey. Uh, nice. Courtney? Spicy Marg! It is Spicy Marg! Yay! Yay! Wait, are we best? Oh my god, you love Spicy Marg! I love Spicy Marg. Yeah, well, yes. you should have wrote that. Well, because, I wanted to be funny. Uh, so, no points for Shane, no points for Olivia. I'm so sorry. Courtney, you get eight points. Thank you. You nailed it. Well Thank done. You. Okay, this one might have a couple. This one probably has a couple answers. Okay. There's one specific answer, and then there's a kind of a more broad. Um, yeah. If I could break into YouTube headquarters and anonymously delete any YouTube channel forever, what channel would I choose? All right, Shane, what you got? Who's the boss now, huh? What are you gonna do? <laughs> what 
Uh oh. Oh no, what happened? Not standing so tall now. Uh, Courtney. <laughs> I put um, Colin's key or Tarsha Cargis. <laughs> okay, all right. Olivia. Uh, I wrote uh, that little kid that sings. So half of YouTube. <laughs> like, are you just trying to keep it as broad as possible in the hopes smart, that smart it's move. nailing who I'm talking about? Uh, I'm ashamed to say all of you got it wrong. Uh, but if I was to give any, well, I'll, I'll tell you who, um, the channel I would delete if I could is um, Ace Family. That, that's, I, look. But if you would have just said family channels, just in general, that's the Good real answer. Call. I, I, That's the answer. I, I, I would be fine with making family vloggers illegal. <laughs> to be fair, you to be that, fair, Olivia know. kinda kinda got the closest. Ah, dang. Okay. Olivia, you get ten points. Wow. Courtney, you get two points for uh, for the target Tarsha par Pargus. Tarsha Pargus. And uh that was a very funny joke, but no points. I'm so sorry. Um, all right. Last question before the secret round. Ooh. Actually, could I get everyone to go, ooh. ooh? Ooh! Thank you. If I could be a guest star on a reality show, which show would I choose? <gasps> <laughs> Courtney, what you got? Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Is mm. that even a real one? That's a real one, yeah. definitely. I wrote Real Housewives. <laughs> As well, dang. Could I, you could you specify? I think Salt Lake City. Uh, Squid Game. <laughs> 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 well, guys, Olivia is right. Wow. It would absolutely be Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. Are you kidding oh me? My God. Are you kidding me? Because you're Mormon. No. Nope. <laughs> uh, so Olivia, I'll give you. Gosh, that was a good answer. I'll give you 10 points. Since you were close in The Real Housewives, I'll give you five points. And Shane, again, very silly, but super off. I'm gonna give you two points. Okay. Yeah, nice. All right, everyone, before the special final round, Shane is sitting at 19 points. Olivia is sitting at 46 points. And Courtney is sitting at 42 points. So to make this uh, make this fun, we're gonna do a little wager. So wager whatever points you would like. Don't show it to your to your contestants. So you are now going to guess without going over how many emails I have sitting in my inbox. Okay, Shane, since you are the bottom point boy, mm -hmm. uh, I guessed fifty two thousand one hundred and twelve, and I went all in. It's really good handwriting. Thank you. Courtney? I wagered all my points for 100,000 plus. 100,000 plus emails. Mm -hmm. I've seen bold. it before. It's bold. I'm all in. I wrote 20,000. 20,000. So everyone is all in. Yeah. Everyone went all in. Olivia said 20,000. Shane said 52,112. And Courtney has said 100,000 plus. Folks, the answer is 796. Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> what about you? Do you have the mail app where it's like all your inboxes? I cleared my inbox uh, a few months ago. Gosh, wow. so. Dang it. All of you lose, no points for you, no points for you, and no points of you for yeah. you. Showing that you really wouldn't know what Ian would do. <laughs> and that'll do it for What Would Ian Do? If you want to know more really horrible, depressing facts, follow me on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. But this is the end of the video, y'all, so. This is it. Make sure, uh, we're gonna throw two videos on the screen. You can click either one. I'm sure they're gonna be full of LOLs, LMAOs, yeah. but certainly no raffles, because we don't raffle in we this house. We don't raffle here. around here. We don't raffle. We don't No raffling. No. Never no. raffle. Everybody knows that. And we don't that. sit on jars. 
We don't. Uh, that we part got cut. Don't. That part got cut. You don't know what we're we talking know about. What that, is. that part got cut. 